Hey guys, it's Shaylee, and I have my new project Pam for you all called Ditch Before I Get Hitched, um, which I saw someone on Instagram doing. I can't remember her name right now, but it, if any of you guys know, please leave her down below because I want to give her full credit for this. Um, so I have 10 products that I want to work on for the next five or so months. Um, and yeah, I'll just get started showing you the products. So the first product I have is this Bath and Body Works Twisted Peppermint um, Fine Fragrance Mist. Um, as you can see, it's like right here. I'm going to mark it after I just couldn't find my Sharpie. So I'm right up to here, and I think I could get like this bottle gone in five months, maybe. I don't know, I use this on a daily basis. I give myself a couple spritzes before I leave for work. And yeah. Hopefully I can get this gone because I did buy two during the semi-annual sale because I really, really like this scent and I just want to make sure that I'm using them up and not just hoarding them. The next product I have is my ColourPop Lippy Stick, Lippy Stick and Cookie um, that was in my last product pan. Um, but I want to get this one gone just because this isn't a color that really works for me. I have it on right now and it's just... I don't think it works with my skin tone on its own. So this is what I have left. I have it marked on my paper. Um, and I'm going to try really hard to really get through this and work on it. Better than I was in my other project pan. Um, let's see. Let's move on. We'll do face products. Yeah. Um, I have the Benefit Professional Little Tiny. Um primer. Sorry, uh, my dog's barking upstairs. She's trying to get me to let her in, but it's really nice out, so I wanted to, like, stay outside before I go. So I wanted to just use up this tiny little mini just because it's not something that I want to have to, like, take with me. And I didn't even know I had it until I looked at it, looked yesterday for products. So I really just want to get this one gone because it's just, it doesn't do much for me. Next, I have this Hard Candy Glamourage Little uh, Pencil Concealer. This is all I have left. I'll mark this too. And I just want to get this gone because this is another little thing that I don't want in my collection. And it's just something else that I don't, I don't want. And I don't need it. It's not a staple in my collection, so I just want to use it and get it um, done and over with. The next item I have is... Um, Kind of spoiler alert, I'm not going to sh- mm, Maybe, yeah, I'll show you the progress, why not? It'll be a little spoiler. This is in my spring cleaning project pan as well. This is the e.l.f. blush and glow. But since I hit pan on this, I kind of stopped working on it. But I want to finish this up um, before I get married. Just because I really like this shade as like an easy like blush and highlight in one. Um, but it's just like, it's not my favorite. So I don't want to keep it around just to keep it around. So this is where I'm at. I have a decent amount of pan. And I have one more update in my spring cleaning at the end of... Well, I have this and an update coming up this month. And then I have an update in June. So you'll probably only see this one more time. And then you'll see it in this product from then on. And my last face product is from my Catrice All Around Concealer Palette concealer palette so and I just want to finish up this little bit left I have of this green shade um, I've decided that once I finish up this green shade I'm going to call this palette done because I've been trying to use this red shade for the longest time but it's too pigmented for me to use under my eyes and it's too dark so it doesn't really correct it as much as it should with like dark darkness so once I finish up this green one I'm going to call this palette done so I just want to get this out and I hit pan which was my goal in another in my hundred color pot empty so I am okay with letting it go finally. And then I have four eye products. I have my eyeliner from my project pan that I just ended. This is the Sephora eyeliner in love letter. I'm gonna mark this on the paper as well but I only have a tiny little bit left. So again this is something small that I can get rid of really easily. So I'm gonna try and get this out of my collection um, I have my MAC 
paint pot in soft ochre. I got this last October, so I wanna. I've been using it basically on a daily basis since last October. So I don't know if you guys can tell. Like if I hold it this way, it's right there, right before the little um, lip happens. But I'd say we're about maybe halfway done. And I use this on a daily basis, so I'm gonna keep using this and. For now, I'm going to try and hit pan, but if I do hit pan in this project, then I'm going to try and use it up because I want to make sure that I'm getting use out of this, and then I want to make sure that it doesn't go bad, and then I'm going to get a new one because I really, really enjoy this product. And I now understand the hype of it because I've been using it on like a daily basis since October of 2016. So, the last two things I have are eyeshadows. My first one is this Coastal Suns Hot Pot and SOS08. It's just like a shimmery purple and I chose this to hit pan on because I really like doing like a color on like my lower lash line I have it on today but it's really like light so it's not too noticeable um, I just want to hit pan on this and make sure I'm getting use out of my uh, singles from coastal suns and I figured it was a really nice shade to use during the summer um, so that's what I'm gonna do because I really like pops of color on the lower lash line during the summer the spring and summer and then the last one is from my Lorac Pro, which you guys might know this is my in my hundred colorful empties project as well. But I'm picking the eyeshadow that I've already hit my goal on in that project to continue on in this project. Um, and that is this ivory shade right here. You guys can see I've hit pan on it. Not a lot, but it's there. Um, I like using this as an inner corner highlight hold it so the mirror's back. I like using this as an inner corner highlight and I've also been using it as a face highlight because it's really like nice and soft like it's a highlight but it's not like champagne pop highlight like if you overdo champagne pop like there's no going back this um, eyeshadow just works really really nice as a highlight um, and as an inner corner highlight so I'm going to try and I'm going to try and finish it up I don't know if I'll be able to finish all of this, but I just want to make a lot of progress on this. So, that is my intro of my 10 products that I want to ditch before I get hitched, or hit pan, I guess, on some of them. And every time I hit my goal on a product, if I use it up or if I hit pan, I'm going to um, take that product out and put a new product in. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.